everyone, Antoinette here and welcome to Decorating Anne's Place. Today I'm happy to be showing you and sharing with you how I've decorated my living room in a bee theme for summer. So I hope you enjoy it. I'll take you all around. I'll show you the living room up close and then at the end of the video I'll sort of give you a panoramic view of how it looks. I hope you enjoy it. This video is part of an open collaboration hosted by the Glam Elegant Living Society, for which I'm so happy to be co-hosting in with these other amazing YouTubers you see here. I'm linking the playlist in my description box for you to visit and watch all the other beautiful creations. Starting over here at this corner of my living room on this cabinet, Over here, we have a picture frame that I simply placed a queen bee print in. And this was something I just printed off of my computer. It turned out more orangey than I would have liked. It was more yellow on the computer. That's okay. Nonetheless, I think it looks kind of pretty. And I place that in this plate holder. Then we have a napkin holder here with our ceramic bee holding the napkins down and those very pretty bee napkins. I did take one of those napkins in a recent video and made a DIY. You'll see that soon. Here we have a candle. It's actually an outdoor candle with a crown on it. It's a citronella candle, which I did use last year. And then we have this cute little bee pot. Now, a lot of you know I'm in lockdown here where I live, so hopefully we are coming out of lockdown soon, and hopefully I can buy something really pretty to fill that pot in. And I do have a couple of other ones as well that are sitting empty. So here we have my famous yellow candle holder with a black and white candle placed on top. And I think the color of that candle and candle holder look really nice with my bee theme. And then over here, I have this cute little sign that says, Just Be You. This is just a little uh, door or drawer pull that I bought at Pier 1 a few years back. This is all placed on top of this pretty tea towel with bees all over it. Here's another little pot or planter that I hope to fill soon. A little honey pot with a bee on top. This I just recently featured on a shorts video that I did and I made this lantern or put it together very quickly. Made this cute little bow here with bees on it. And then just our lamp here. So that's what that looks like. And then when we move over here, we have a tiered tray that I styled a little while back on another video. You can see up close some bee themed little plates that I've placed down, a cute little honeycomb cup. Oh, I can't forget my cute little bee magnet there. Some other really cute bee themed pieces. All atop this cute little bee themed placemat. So that's that there and I quite like the way this turned out and I do like how it tends to blend in nicely with this display over here. I think that the colors go quite lovely together. Now moving along my living room here. On this little area of the sofa, 
I've put down my, I call it a throw. It's actually a large piece of fabric that I just bought from the fabric store. It's in this check pattern that I love so much. And I think it looks lovely with my sofa. And then this bee pillow, which I'm crazy about. This I did purchase at HomeSense before our lockdown. It was one of those pieces that I call a no-brainer. I saw it and it immediately went into my cart. I did not even look at the price tag. I knew it was going to be mine and that was that. It's beaded and it's really quite, quite pretty. So moving along in the living room, we go here to this corner. This corner is quite bright with all the yellow, yellow, black, and white. I really like this display. Let me just get in a bit closer. So here's a closer look. Starting over here at this end, we have the matching candle holder and Harlequin pattern candle that we also have on the cabinet that's opposite side of this table here, this corner. And then these two little planters I have, you may have seen the video where I had hoped to take these two planters and turn them into a tiered tray. That didn't work out, although a lot of you gave me some great ideas how it could have worked out uh, perhaps next year. But all I decided to do this year simply is put that bottom one upside down, place the top one right on top. I think it looks cute. Hopefully later this summer, maybe I can fill that top one with some greenery or some sort of plant. And I think that will look really nice. And then here, I purchased this earlier this year, this cute canister uh, purchased from HomeSense. And I did feature it in a shopping haul video. I've simply placed that on top of a black candle holder. Then below that, just this cute little square yellow vase, this little black and white candle holder, this black tray with a smaller square yellow vase that goes with the larger one there. And then just a little yellow vase filled with some flowers, all placed on top of a white scarf my famous white scarf and you can see what this little corner looks like here and I'll take you down here I'm actually going to get on my knees here and show you this so my famous little boxes you've probably seen these boxes before on my coffee table I put them here on the floor and I purchased this gold ant um, just before lockdown, so early in this year, and when I saw this ant, I almost lost it. I thought, um, I'm ant, so I think I have to have this guy. So you will probably see this in a lot of my decorating. I thought it was quite ideal. Then moving from this end of the living room to my coffee table. And you may have seen my black and white decor video where I featured this little display. I've added a few more little pieces just to up it a bit and I'll show you that more closely. So we still have the same items here on this tray that I featured originally on my black and white decor video. But what I did was I swapped out that framed picture right here that I sort of DIY'd 
and I swapped it out for this tag that I DIY'd in another video. And this is it up close. I put this here just because it's so bright and I thought it adds a little to uh, this tray. I think this tray looked uh, pretty, but just so black and white that I did need a little something else added to it. So this brings exactly the color that it needs. And there's the napkin I was talking about before that I used in a DIY. Then I had taken out this box for a Father's Day tablescape video that I did. And I noticed that the bottom of the box is striped in black and white. Here's a better shot. So that's the side of the box. It's black and white. And I thought the stripes went perfectly with the stripes on the runner. So I thought, oh, why don't I just add that to this display? And it worked out perfectly. I just placed my lantern right on top with my yellow bee. And then I found this piece sort of hidden away a bit and I'm happy that I found it. It's just a little honey pot there that I purchased at Dollarama last year. It's got a bee on top and the cute honeycomb pattern lid and it says honey there and when you get such a cute piece for such a good price there's nothing better so here's an overview of the room again I hope you enjoyed it. I do hope that you will keep an eye out for my summertime home tour because I'm hoping that perhaps I can purchase a few more pieces once we come out of lockdown and add it to this room. Uh, some may say that there's quite enough bee themed items in here as it is and perhaps that's true but I do like my uh, excess I guess I just like my over-the-top seasonal decor so what I'm hoping to find is perhaps a bee themed wreath that I can probably place on that floor lamp there and maybe some sort of garland to go uh, just at the top of my curtains and I think that would finish off this room perfectly so I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you to the ladies of the Glam Elegant Living Society for hosting and co-hosting with me. Um, a great group of ladies. I hope you'll watch their videos as well on this playlist. Let them know I say hello. If you like this video, kindly give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, kindly consider subscribing. Thanks so much. Take care, everyone.